ago, the great Chelonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahassee into the wilderness. Gentlemen! Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. 
The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary! Then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help!
Arthur. I didn't ask for your help.
Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know... You taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. <laughs> they rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um. Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. OK. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Make it quick or I might run off again. I know you're following me. Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. 
But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Yeah, I'm real hungry Hello? here. 